Good evening from Galactic Public Radio on NC. I'm Spencer McDunn, and these are the top headlines from around the known galaxy. A 200-year-old mystery has been solved and leads to another mystery. For the latest, we go to Smooth Furnace and the Orion Nebula. Thanks, Spencer. Following a hot tip from a source familiar with both Canon Research and Galnet News Daily, GPR chartered a long-range stealth scout ship and set course for a star system just outside Bernard's Loop, near the Orion Nebula. There, orbiting the first moon of the first planet, lay the wreckage of an ancient Anaconda-class cruiser, the Proteus. That ship carried the survivors of the Hesperus, the megaship believed to be researching Thargoids nearly 200 years ago. Audio logs confirm that the crew not only escaped, but continued their research mission, eventually stumbling upon the remains of a million-year-old battle between the Thargoids and the Guardians. Unfortunately, it appears that the crew fell victim to both Guardian Sentinel attacks and, later, accidental radiation exposure caused by researching Guardian weapons. The ship was located after many commanders received another message from the mysterious figure Salvation, His information and theories inspired a massive search effort, leading to the discovery of the Proteus only 24 hours after the message's reception. Interestingly, the search was practically over when the Pilots' Federation announced an investigation into Salvation's identity and associates. They even went so far as to suggest there may be something illegal about the search. Several analysts reminded this reporter, unprompted, that Salvation may be an artificial intelligence constructed during the final days of the Galactic Cooperative, and that the disappearance of the megaship Alexandria, carrying tons of Guardian weapons, closely coincided with the reappearance of Salvation. Are these events merely the latest moves in a 200-year-old treasure hunt for alien weapons? From the Orion Nebula Tourist Center, for Galactic Public Radio, I'm Smooth Furnace. Thanks, Smooth. The political landscapes of the galaxy superpowers are in a state of flux. In the Federation's latest conflict, the Jupiter Division was handily defeated by military contractors hired by its parent company, Core Dynamics. However, security analysts were surprised by the utter lack of enthusiasm on both sides of the war. Opinion polls and newsfeed editorials showed strong public support for Jupiter Division's goal of reforming the federal government to include more explicit corporate power. But that sediment failed to generate combat support. On the other hand, the traditionalist defense contractor Core Dynamics was only able to muster a token force to defeat Jupiter Division. Fortunately, that was all that was required, and the Imperial scene isn't calm either. Minister Aaron White, leader of the Marlinism Reformation Party, has confirmed that it aims to politically represent the neo-Marlinist fringe. At the meeting of the Marlinist Parliament, Minister White declared, quote, Not all of the neo-Marlinist community seek a violent uprising to end the Duval family's thousand-year dictatorship. We can replace desperate acts of rebellion with meaningful dialogue and public pressure. End quote. Finally, in local news, a number of hidden drug caches were seized from the surface of Anseeth 4A, commonly known as Meter, capital's only moon. Sources confirm that many of the drug shipments have been detained by security officials without first obtaining a warrant or subpoena. Guard Frequency Response Deputy Assistant Director Richard Clemens told GPR, quote, The planetary government of capital has expressed concern to us that Meter is being used as a storage depot for harmful narcotics. Because neither GFR nor the planetary government has jurisdiction over Meter, we cannot and do not legally seize narcotics from the surface of the moon. However, sometimes helpful and honest independent pilots stumble upon such things and turn them into us. We are happy to hold on to the illegal narcotics until the rightful owners step forward to claim them. Anyone wishing to claim ownership of the illegal narcotics should please contact GFR or the Capital Investigation Group at their earliest convenience. End quote. Until the next turn of the worlds for Galactic Public Radio, I'm Spencer McDunn. Good night. (laughs) 